Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky! Last time, we got to the finals of the Grand Arena Tournament. Like, all out beat em up bout of bouts and every bout of all the bouts. And that's about where, uh, where we left it, because we have a bunch of political intrigue and sewers. Let's go to the sewers. So, is this supposed to- yeah, I suppose this is supposed to be sewers. Hmm. Okay. I sort of figured this was like a back entrance for the arena when I saw it at first, but... Eh. It is what it is. And a treasure doesn't respawn, you know. I don't know, the monsters respawn. Sort of mean to just make it the treasure that doesn't respawn. I guess these monsters don't respawn. Eh, well. Um, basically all of them have a fire- yeah. Well, not these, technically. Hmm. Art's ineffective, you say? Okay, I guess I'll aim for those guys. They're out of my range, damn it! Oh, I can't hit both of them. Whatever. Oh, I wonder how much damage this could do with a critical. It's not 200, but... Ah, screw it. It's the only area-based one he has. They're also weak to fire. It makes it so easy. Kamehameha! Oh, I mean... At this point, Zin's like... He has to have been super duper... Um... Inspired by Dragon Ball. He has so many things that just make me just feel like it's so much. Ooh, that's a lot. And all of it goes up to... Cool beans. Gladiator headband. That sounds good. Sounds a lot like stuff we've had. Yep. CP, uh, CP up plus 10%. It's a motivating headband. CP recovery rate rises in battle. That'd probably be pretty good for Zin, just given his... Uh, well, yeah, let's put it on him. What if I put both the Sapphire and the Ruby Talisman on him? Would he get both water and fire stuff, or... I'm not really sure how that works. I'd say I'm lost, but I really am lost. Ah, <laughs> oh, another one of these. I can't just go through it with a S-Craft this time, either. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Oh, why do you have to move? Oh, uh, why did you have to move? Oh, nope, still moving. Ah, good, you're all moving. Ah, it's fine. Those line arts in the back might be concerning, but... Ah, uh, fine. Ah, oh, so close. Yes, so very far. Yes. <laughs> okay, he's a peasy. These line arts still might be a concern, but still. So easier, easiest way to no, can't do that. No, it's out of that. Okay. Plasma waves. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Do I even need one on him? I don't think I do. Either way, I should take this guy out before he can move again. Um. I would have an impede on one of them, wouldn't I? Yeah, you have that. Ah, yeah, it's fine. And at this point, I can just probably finish them off in this rate. Yeah, even with the attack guard. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. 
<laughs> uh, it's funny. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I should heal him just in case. I didn't really check how much damage the other one did, but Zin probably took less damage than you typically would from that, uh, yeah? At least I beaded him. And... Yep. Ah, that wouldn't have taken him out. Ah, that would not have taken him out. Ah, whatever. Would've been fine. Would've been fine. Cestus. Cestus? Is that an ornament? Eh, this doesn't really ring a bell. Maybe it's a food? Thing in my bomb might be a food thing in my bomb. Ah, here we go. A better thing for Zin. Okay. So basically, go equip Zin with that. That's what the game is telling me. Oh, oh, and I already got him better ones that I didn't put on him. Oh well. Oh well. Ah, uh, Joshua, what's a fine behind? Shut up, Olivier. <laughs> you think that's the monster that I have to kill this time? I think that might be the monster I have to kill this time. There you are, monster. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, look at you, incapable of moving. <laughs> oh, and they're all wake to fire! Perfect. I'm not sure they're that yellow. Um, yeah, set this up. Hmm. See, the front ones will probably. Let's see. Let me check something because once the front ones move, they'll probably all be able to move. That one moves next, and that one moves immediately afterwards. So I probably should set it up on the uh, front one, at least one of the front ones. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Good chaos brand them. The one I don't expect to move. Ooh, frosty! Don't freeze me, please don't freeze me. That would actually really, really suck. Don't have any of that. Oh well. Here, let's um. Put a little, um, Oliver on healing duty for this time. And they didn't move as much as I was hoping. Because they're using that distance uh, freeze breath. I haven't hit him yet. Mm. Ooh, that's a bit. Ha! <laughs> I could use that critical. Don't freeze, don't freeze, don't freeze, no one freeze. If anyone freezes, I'm gonna be so not happy. So extremely not happy. Oh. I don't know, I don't really have anything significantly better to do with Joshua at the moment other than Picaeus Brand and stuff. Gathering SP quite quickly. <laughs> ah, that didn't do much. Okay. Let's see how much this does. There we go. And I probably could just continue with this. And for him... I don't know. Probably worth continuing like that, too. Ah, at least two, those two are just doing whatever. Is that even re- How did you reach us from that far? What the fuck? 
Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. How is that even possible? My goodness. Ah, and stay confused. Okay, stay confused. That's good. Because if they can hit me from that goddamn far away, then that probably means that Oliver would have died there. Hmm. But then again, I'm not sure how much damage that did. Not that I care that much at this point either. Oh. Might as well. Well, might as well this. Is. No, no. I don't want these guys attacking me with that. I really don't want a chance to freeze. Moves around because reasons. Yeah, it's fine. And. Eh, not much, but that should be plenty to finish this off relatively soon. Oh, I thought it would be closer than. I thought I'd be able to take out uh, that one in the back at least with that. Oh well. Ha! Oh, that did a bit. They're both basically dead, so... There we go! Not bad. Not bad at all. Cool little beans. Okay. What were you hiding? Oh. Where does that go now? Does that go to the... Oh! Does that go to the other side of the sewers? Oh, that might make sense. If that goes to the other side of the sewer, I am... I am not going back there. <laughs> I am tired of that side. I am very tired of that side. Okay, let's see. Going up, this feels familiar. Feels very familiar. Yeah, okay. And, yep, I figured there'd be another one of these. Eh. Hmm. They're gonna start uh, moving quickly, aren't they? Uh, who's moving first? That guy's moving first. He's probably not going to move that far, so he actually might move himself into a position to... Oh, I thought he might move himself into a position to hit a bunch of them. Oh, a bunch of them are probably going to move after this, so... Probably not the worst idea in the world, either. Um... Yeah. Let's see if they end up moving. How we expect them to. Shame he doesn't have a multi-hit. Yeah. Who will this move to if I take this guy out? I wonder. Huh. Someone I didn't want it to. Yay. I'll still hit a few of them. For some reason, I thought I already uh, queued her up for attack, but that was Olivier's attack. Um, should be fine. Critical, schmidtical. Ah, I didn't even use the critical. Okay, let's just take them out. Oh, that hit five of them, despite being the smallest one. Oh boy. Okay, these guys are never all that hard. Okay, there we go. And what do I get from that? Hawkeye, what does that do? Sounds like an old mint. Definitely sounds like an old mint. Well, or maybe it's... No, maybe it's not an old mint. Maybe it's 
Oliver's weapon. That also sounds like that. Okay. Right, okay. Okay. By my deductions of where I've been and what seems to be done here, I'm pretty sure I'm done with the supers for now. I finished up everything I can in there. Da, da, da. Yo! There's this beautiful girl who walks me here, uh, by here all the time. Some days counting how many times I see her is the only way I can keep myself sane. If you can call that sane! <laughs> Alright. If that girl walks by here three times a day, I'm going to go up to her and say hi. Now I just need that book so I can pretend to be reading it while I wait for her. Because girls like smart, bookish men, right? 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 That time gets some weird ideas in his head sometimes, man. <laughs> I think it's more than that. Right? You know, Joshua, you really should model for underwear. So no, 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 no. Hey, Joshua, I think you should probably model for underwear. Uh, no, 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 please. No, maybe for you, Estelle, but no, not anyone else. Oh my goodness. This was requested of police patrol. This isn't this isn't the crossbell games. The hell? And I got the gladiator belt. Congratulations on the assignment. Well done. If you finish any of the posted tasks, you'll be uh, uh come back and let us know. Apparently I got just enough. Just goddamn much. That's actually the top rank, right? Junior Bracer first class. That is the top one, I believe, yeah? I think it's the top one. There we go. Yep. It is the very top one, apparently. <laughs> Good for me, I suppose. Oh, I don't need to get rid of that. I can just put this on. Auto CP up. Strength up even more. <laughs> and I have the headband on. CP up, uh, CP up plus 10%. Apparently I got two of those because I picked up another one for Zin. You're gonna be getting so much CP, Joshua. It's gonna be so fun because you're probably better. You have better crafts than a lot of the other people. It's weird how much better your just crafts are in general. Oh, I don't remember if I finished that thought from before, but uh, I don't remember user's name very well because this was actually a couple episodes ago. Someone requested the idea of I think this formation. Oliver's just staring at Joshua's ass. He takes out his gun and he's like, I could just shoot it from right here. Tease him a little and Estelle just like... And then suddenly he just feels Estelle's staff hitting him on his ass like, Not a teasing thing. Fuck off. It's almost time for the championship match to start. Are you nervous? When you're ready, please proceed to the entrance gate. I forget exactly what scenario they suggested for this formation. It has been a while since I read that comment. I didn't think I could do it justice, so I didn't want to try it straight out anyways. Welcome everyone to the Grand Arena. I suggest going back and reading the comments if if you're really curious. It was it was actually quite a good idea. Probably better than any of the ones I've done. Uh, please note that the tournament participants are asked to remain within the arena's walls until the end of the day's matches. Have you made all the necessary preparations for the day of hot hot auction? Bring it on! Oliver just in the back. Yeah! Let's do this! Excellent, excellent. We are waiting room is blue like fucking usual. Okay. Oh, and we just go straight here. Okay. Uh, looks like it's just us in, he uh, us in here. The waiting room feels awfully big right now. Uh, it actually is a pretty big room. Team sports events and circuses alike used to be held here. Circuses, eh? Hm. Well, I suppose... Wasn't Charizard in... Mm, I think so. Something like that. But that was back in the time when gladiators fighting monsters was a man's only source of entertainment. Only source at all, right? Interesting. I guess that would explain the size if there were circus animals in here. I must say, it certainly doesn't measure up to an imperial opera house, but even so, it's about the size of an outdoor concert, uh, outdoor concert venue, and that's certainly acceptable. Excuse us for being less gaudy than you imperialist. I think we may have gotten into a, uh, here a little too early, though. Should train more. We still got a sizable chunk of time before the match starts. Really? Oh, waiting around for your match to start really does ki uh, get kind of boring. So why don't we walk around the grounds for a little while then? Works for me. We're gonna go for a walk, guys. 
Sure, just make sure you're here in time for the match. Now that they're gone, we're going to have a nice little discussion, aren't we? Well, well. What new, uh, what new turn of events is this? I thought for sure that you'd go with them. Hmm. I just get the feeling that something's changed between the two of them. Some type of uh, step forward. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Observant. Uh, you've definitely been feeling some uh, pressure from the matches, but today they seem a lot more relaxed. Oh, to be young again. <laughs> ah, but are they ready for the feelings that well up from within them? Ah, even if they are not, the feelings are surely ready for them. Oh, such delightful awkwardness. I look forward to what comes of it. I really don't get you. These two are like such polar opposites. I feel like someone's talking weird things about me. Hmm, something wrong? Are you feeling alright? I'm okay. Just got the chills all of a sudden. Like someone is talking about us or plotting something. I I think I can guess who that is. What is back? I don't think I've ever back been back. Reserve for guest of honor. No uh, authorized personnel. Okay, sure. Yo. Oh, uh, something wrong, Kurt. <laughs> oh, it's you guys. Guess it's time for the final match. Give it all you got, okay? You bet. I mean, if you weren't here for the final match, what else would you be here for? You don't look so good uh, there, Kurt. Are you okay? You do seem pale. Nah, no, just a little lightheaded, that's all. Oh, God, what happened? That was kind of odd. I don't feel sick, so why am I lightheaded? I think I'm having a flashback. Flashback from what, yesterday? No, no, no. From an accident I had about three months ago. Seems I screwed up on a job and messed up uh, myself up pretty bad. What do you mean, seems? You don't mean amnesia, do you? I do, it's kind of embarrassing, but perhaps even a bit cliched. Yep, definitely a bit cliched. But I don't actually remember a thing about it. Oh, well, I didn't anyway. So, oh, and now you're remembering random things. Okay. So, what, did you get a concussion? I still can't even remember uh, what job I was doing that got me hurt in the first place. Actually, that sounds immensely convenient, doesn't it? Oh, you're hurt. That's why you don't remember it, right? Right? That's definitely why you don't remember it. The doctor said it wasn't shock or anything, but it's often no explanation as to what it could be. Hmm. Oh, what a story. But you're still okay to participate in the match, even in that condition? I told you, physically, there isn't a thing wrong with me. In fact, I'm feeling a lot better just talking it over with you. And in time, these flashbacks will start to take shape, and I'll remember what happened. So don't worry about me, okay? Oh, that's gonna have story relevance, isn't it? Um, okay, I guess, if you say so. So, you're starting to look a little bit, um, you're starting to look a little bit better than you did a minute ago. Just be careful, though, okay? Thank you. You guys, too. Good luck out there. We're all here to root for you today. You're representing the Bracer Guild out there, so to be sure to make us proud. Can do. Immense amount of dialogue there. Hey, you guys, listen, just relax and do what you've always done. There's no pressure. Except for winning. Hey, uh, newbies, your opponents are tough, but you guys should be able to take him, no sweat, right? Rick leg out there, we'll be cheering for you like you wouldn't believe. I don't know. Hmm, I don't really have any sort of, a uh, plan for this. Hey, Estelle, not you, Joshua, get the fuck out of the way, Joshua. You did it, the final fight. It's the final countdown, it's so exciting, I get words. Deep breaths, Dorothy. Come on now, do it with me. If you don't relax and keep yourself still and focused, you won't be able to get any good shots. Oh, don't you worry about that. I take my best pictures when I'm all hyped up like this. They're more natural, you see. <laughs> no, I guess they would be. Dorothy, I think you're some kind of savant or something. That's a hell of a compliment. Let's call it a compliment. Estelle, Joshua, Professor, you came to watch us. But of course, you've always been such a big help to me. I never really- I never went back there, did I? Shoot, I forgot about that. But of course, you've always been such a big help to me. I owe you at least- uh, you do at least that much. Thanks, Professor. But how do you scrape together the mirror for a ticket? No, oh, that was a bit of a lucky break on my part, actually. The museum director had some sudden business to attend to, so we couldn't make it today. And I am here in his stead. Ha! <laughs> should have guessed you'd never be able to get in here out of your own pocket. No. <laughs> No, not that I wouldn't try, of course. I'm sure I could find a way if I put my mind to it. At any rate, I am here, and I am, uh, and here I am. And I'll be shouting your names for sure. Knock him dead, you two. You bet we will. Thank you, Professor. 
creepy, stalky professor. He is such a stalker. He look weird. Oh, just a spectator. Okay. Hello, red team. This is the red team's room. Our room must be on the other side. No, let's go talk to them. Come on. It's also VIP. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Ah. Uh, Style Joshua, is that you? Mayor Claus? Hmm. What brings you here? It has been quite some time. It's good to see both of you again. Xerzar told me that you'd gone traveling all over the kingdom. You've certainly grown up nicely in the time since we last met. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, I can't speak for myself, really. We can certainly, uh, we certainly seem as chipper as ever, Mr. Mayor. It's kind of refreshing to see. <laughs> well, I won't let you young folk beat me just yet. So, I hear you do made it all the way to the championship in this big martial arts competition. I may be a little old for such things, but I came to watch. You came all the way from Roland to, uh, for that? Oh, no, no. Actually, I got an invitation out of the blue to a dinner party at Grand South Castle. I only arrived in Grand South this morning, came by way of an airliner. Oh, way! Ah, I think I get it. The invitation came from Duke Junin, right? Ah, oh, you know of it? It was originally, uh, I was originally planning to attend a birth ceremony for this married couple and then journey here. But this lady officer approached me out of nowhere and told me that I was invited to the dinner party. Oh, one guess of, uh, as to who that was. Okay. What are they planning to do? I mean, if you send people to dinner party, that means there could be uh, trying to gather all the other leaders outside of the military and basically turn everything on its head and force them to comply with the new status quo, right? Yeah, it had to be Captain Almathea. Sadly, my wife's not much of the traveling sort, so I didn't have much choice but to come here by myself. Oh, she's not here, and we talked to her so much. Pardon me, Mayor. Is there a chance that we may also be att uh, there is a chance we may also be attending that dinner party? Oh, so Joshua explained. Ah, I see. Well, that explains it. It hardly seems appropriate to call for a dinner party when Her Majesty is taken ill. But if you two will be there, I might not feel quite so awkward. So that just means you'll have to try that much harder to win. <laughs> you bet. We'll try our best to meet your expectations. I think I'm going to find myself seated. then. Best of luck to both of you. I can't believe he's going to be at the dinner party too. What do you think that means? You think Mayor Maybell will be there as well? Probably. Yeah, I'm gonna guess, yeah. Eh, seems likely. There'll probably be a lot of influential people in attendance. <laughs> well, we just need to focus on winning our match and then we'll see everyone there. Sounds good. Speaking of which, it's almost time. Let's return to the waiting room. Okay. God, I hope they, I hope I win this. Can I win this? The time's finally come. Break a leg, guys. No, since team. You're in the blue team. Yeah, I know that. Oh, God. I don't want to break a leg. What if I actually broke? What if one of the characters actually broke a leg at this point? That would be unfortunate. Oh, uh, it looks like the Duke and Colonel Richard are showing up together today. Indeed. Maybe here's to watch his subordinates compete. Ah, so that's Royal Army's darling of the public, eh? He's handsome enough and well-groomed. He looks like the capable sort. Yeah, I'd say capable is probably the right word for his capabilities, yeah? I guess so. Hmm. He doesn't seem to bear much resemblance to when I saw him in Bose. At least in terms of character. <laughs> What indeed can one do? I suppose he is worthy of being considered a rival to the great Olivier Lenheim. I doubt he's worried about that. Looks like it's starting. We must apologize to everyone for the long wait. We now open the final day of martial arts competition. Full, uh, the martial arts competition's full contact matches. And before it says preliminaries again. Oh god. The arena has been abuzz with preparations and fighting for the better part of a week now. And it all culminates right here, right now. Which team will seize victory this day? Without further ado, I present the fight card for this, the championship match. 
Southside, blue team, from the Calvert Republic, Captain, uh, Captain is Zinn. Northside, red team, from the Royal Army Intelligence Division Special Forces. Captain is, sec uh, Captain is Second Lieutenant Lawrence. Alright, we're up. Finally. <laughs> I trust everyone is ready to put everything into this. But yours, we'll full after. This is it. Game faces, guys. Save faces, guys. Because I'm not actually confident in this one. I'm not. I'm not at all. Okay, let's let's do this. Hey, I already came out. Everyone we fought so far has been about as tough as tapioca. Add in half oh, this team is a pair of rookies. Never seen them before, right? I doubt they'd be able to stand up to us. <laughs> Don't be so sure. Both of them are part of the Bracer Guild. Indeed. We've been reading up on them. Good, now stay focused. And do not underestimate them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, what are these guys grousing about over there? Just let them be a stuff. Over there covering their faces like that, I can't imagine they have much in the way of self-confidence. Since they lack my dazzling good looks, they'll probably uh, a lot of sniping and backpitting in their ranks. Ah, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Have uh, you know I'm considered very attractive to women and men and uh, aliens, I, I, um, uh, dogs? No, um, Second Lieutenant Lawrence, right? What is it, boy? Joshua, that's sore technique. No, never mind. Best of luck. <laughs> and to you, huh? Hey, you don't let the dog get y'all depressed. We're about to start. We now begin the final match of the martial arts competition. Both teams go to your starting places. That's not my formation. Adios be with you. Ready. Begin. Hmm. He did move quite a bit, didn't he? Ooh, right. And that can delay, can't it? Hmm. This music. Oh, is this the one I'm thinking of? Yeah, I like this one. Oh, and he resisted. Okay, interesting. Let's see, resistances. Normal, normal, normal. All normal. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that. Um. Hmm. I'm almost definitely not gonna uh, chaos brand him, am I? See which one's gonna move first. I'm gonna be able to get him. Probably worth getting that guy. Um. Let's see. Let's just see how much damage I can do on that simple craft. Oh, not much. Oh, are you gonna line yourself up for me? Oh, thank you so very much. Oh god, I'm doing nothing to him. Hmm. I wonder what the best way to go about this would be. Well, if he's just gonna be healing them, then I can, I can keep this up for a little bit. And I get almost all my CP back too. That is, hmm. For now, let's. Yeah, let's put up defenses like that. I don't want to do anything with knockback at the moment because I want to keep them in that line as for as long as I. Well, they're gonna move, aren't they? They're gonna move soon. Oh, I can't use Petrify Lance and we'll, Oh, that's still single. Oh, what? Whatever. Hmm. I won't be able to get. No, they're gonna move. Okay. Um. I guess Arrow Storm. Because they're going to move one way or another. That earth wall is so much more use- <laughs> I forgot I chaos branded him. Uh, 
Oh, and they're all still in my range of attack. Good. I wonder if I could... I could, like, turn all of them against Lorenz, too, couldn't I? Oh, well, let's see if this does anything. Oh, it did a little bit against Lawrence, didn't it? Oh, fuck. He would. It's fine. If I can take out the other ones, it should be much easier. Hmm, I could delay them. Or, get Chaos Brand one of them again. Just keep one of them against each other, that should turn the tide of this battle considerably. measure. Let's call it, uh... Um... For safe measure, let's do this. Okay, good old guard. Oh, no, he's out of that crap. Okay, it's whatever, I guess. It's gonna move slowly, isn't it? So is that, technically. Mmm. Oh no, the other one's a Chaos Brand one, so I should be able to get off. Um, uh, in time. Let's see, okay. So, what do I want to do? Um, I'm gonna be healing, so I can... Best way to do this. Strength up? Not a bad idea, yeah. I did forget that they were taunted on him. Probably not the best thing at the moment. And with that, probably not a bad idea to go. Even I, yeah. I might even delay Lawrence, yeah. No, guard. Oh, that counts as his guard, doesn't it? Okay, that's cool. He's going after Estelle. Interesting. I assume that's not part of his AI and that's just part of the... Well, I assume that's not, like, intentional. As in, like, it's specifically part of his AI. Um, to go after Estelle rather than whoever logically would make sense in battle. Still taunted on them. Hmm... Oh, thank you. Thank you for going after someone with that on it, instead of going after Estelle, who had lost it. Mmm, we're probably gonna move, aren't we? Mmm, it's the best way to go about this. Oh no, he's, she's not going to get it now, crap. God damn, not that's, <laughs> I suppose I can't really complain too much about that not having much of a... Uh, a thing, but... Oh well. Another one, uh, one of them that's supposed to move soon, right? Because it seems likely that she's gonna get caught up. No! I, I'm pressing. Yeah, I was like, I was pressing the button. Oh, and he didn't even attack. Oh, crap. 
wait until after that. Oh, well. Oh, well. I was using specifically because I, I thought he might go after him. Or her. I guess not. Um, let's see. What is he casting? No, he's casting something on himself. Hmm. I don't have any impede stuff at the moment, do I? I'll move in time. Alright. He has that too. Um, and probably a good way to go about this would be... Yep, that's a good way to do it. Joshua is fast enough to put on a single one without having to worry about it too much. I was only trying to use that S-Craft because I thought she was going to die that next turn and it didn't even let me do it in time. Haha. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Ooh, so close. That probably won't be enough to live against him, though. Guard. Yay, you used up the guard for me. Uh, can I do it quickly enough? Yes, I can. That guy has a really strong attack. I do not want to take many of them on. I don't want to take any of them on straight. This earth wall is really important at the moment to me. Um, let's see. Let's see what's the best way to do this. He doesn't have much in terms of all that, but let's see. How much can he do? Just general attacking. Okay, that was not much. Those two are still confused, so that should be okay. Um... Yeah, that should be fine. Oh, um, you know what, this probably... Oh, shoot. I was hoping for a line thing, then I remembered, no, I don't have a line thing. Okay, just in case any of them live through all this. No! Wait, they're not confused anymore! I just noticed. Crap, it just ended. Oh, okay. Oh well, that was nice. Okay. Um. Who needs it at the moment? You need it at the moment. Okay. This is very manageable. Albeit. Okay, he doesn't have nearly as much art defense, I believe. Oh, is he? Is he now? You think he'll do more than a thousand in art damage? Oh no, he set up his own. No, no, I'm the one who was attacking in that big uh, one. No, he's setting it up on himself. Never mind. He doesn't have much art. I thought I, uh, I saw my area of effect one, and I thought it was his. My bad. Time. Well, oh, how much health does this guy have? Left? Not much. Crafts. Smite. Oh, it's not enough. Damn it. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, and shoot, I thought I had it. No, I had Chaos Brand. It's. It, I don't have the Earth Guard on her. Um. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's see. Well, let's um just get that off of him real quick.
Ooh, not quite. Okay, he's putting it back on. No, he's healing himself, is he? Oh, I'm gonna have to move quickly. I'm gonna have to move very quickly, aren't I? Okay, so what's the best way to do this? Hmm. Try to clock up as many people as I can. Keep Zin on uh, keeping up with the defenses. And try to speed up in a way that I can basically just start taking out his health so quickly that he probably can heal fast enough to deal with it. Because Tyrell uh, only brings back... yeah. Um... <laughs> okay. I know... I know some of the other single impact ones aren't typically as strong, but... I might as well use my strongest ones at the moment. Probably trying to put up Earth Guard yet. Okay. Not in mines. Well, he's aiming himself, so he's probably gonna put it up on himself, so I might as well put that on him at the moment. She's be move well, she's not moving that quickly this time. That's actually fine. I can use uh, Joshua to get that Earth Guard off of him. I'm being super conservative, I know. <laughs> if you haven't watched my videos before on the Trail series, I tend to be conservative. Very conservative in my playstyle. As in, very defensive, very let's get this done in a specific way. Let's go ahead and uh, still impede, yeah? Impede. Oh, I don't think he's feeling lucky. Oh, he's gonna use it anyway. No, he's healing himself. Oh, great. I was, I didn't move fast enough. Oh crap. Hmm. I guess I just need to keep attacking. Get as much damage as I can in as quickly as possible. Um, and, let's see, probably want to clock up still, and you also have to put them back, so I'll use that. This might take a while, it might. And I just noticed I'm running out of EP for Zin. What? Is he like half your health at the same time? No, you just made a fucking huge... Oh, God. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Did you happen to line it up perfectly, too? Yes, you did. And I delayed both of them good. to go further beyond yeah I have to do that it's like an obligation at this point oh god how many oh god okay 
So if I take out the real one, will that speed up this process of stuff? Hmm. Do I have to take out the shadows even if the uh, real one goes down? He has not attacked me in a while. Okay, they're gonna move in now. Might be able to use Evil Eye on him. No! <laughs> I confuse them! Oh, that's hilarious. That's whole. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, uh, how many of them can I hit with this? Not enough. So, I guess I'll... Cloak and Dagger my way over there. Just as a way of moving at this point, honestly. Actually, did I hit all of them? Uh, I just... Um... Aerial. Set that. So it's definitely gonna move, isn't he? No, let's just set up the big one. Ha! I didn't actually realize that was the one that was about to move. And I can't hit many of them. He's so confused, so I guess whatever. Okay, and then I guess continue smiting. I'm gonna smite you. Yeah, don't knock out of the... I might have knocked out... No, I think I'm okay. If this hits no one, then I'm gonna be like... What? No, I can't tell. The window's getting in the... Actually, the building's getting in the way. Ah, oh, did end up hitting him. I can't believe we were able to confuse him. So, I could have had Chaos branded him? I wonder... His damage isn't doing nearly as much at this point. I suppose because it's Zen. That would make sense. And let's keep going. I'm running out of uh I'm running out of VP, but whatever. We're we'll fine, I'll be fine. This should finish it. You know, I'm. I just thought about it, and did I ever see Oliver's other. I think he got a new S graph. I don't think I ever looked. I think I was trying to save it for a rainy day, and then I just forgot about it. Huh. Yeah, not bad at all. KO! Winner is in Steam. Eh, it can't be. Not the best of the best that Special Ops had to offer. How could we lose? Ah, we're beaten. Yahoo. <laughs> we won. We really won. <sighs> Exhausted. Hmm. Did he really try? There's a question. Now oh, the winning team will be blessed with a few words from Duke Doonan. He did seem to go out of his way to attack other people when he might have had a chance to take one of us out. Representing the team will be Zin Vathag. Please come forward. Yes, sir. Ah, you look even bigger up close. <laughs> oh, Easton is as huge as you. No, I'm a little outside of the ordinary. Mind just ate well, slept well, and trained diligently ever since I was very young. I'm the, uh, I'm the way I am because I tend to think about everything very carefully and deeply. <laughs> I, I, I see. I see. I like you, Zin. Allow me to present you with a prize for 100,000 mere, the invitation to the dinner party. Thank you very much, sir. Receive invitation. 
received 100,000 Mira. Hey, Joshua, still, you wanted all this money, right? Yes, yes, we need this money. Please give us the money. My dear shine her lights and glory upon you and your friends. My beloved citizen, let's say a big round of applause for the victors. Hey, ah. <laughs> An interesting conclusion, I say. <laughs> Lieutenant Lawrence, you truly have no shame. His Excellency must surely be ashamed to see his men beaten by such rabble. Was that all? Was all that posturing just for show? I am indeed shamed. <laughs> Come on now, Miss Leia. You needn't criticize him so. Truth be told, I asked myself for Lawrence to hold back. Uh, I'm. I myself asked Lawrence to hold back. Uh huh. It would behoove any member of the Intelligence Division not to put uh, all his strength on display. And in this instance, it works to our benefit uh, that the others win the championship. I see. His grace too seems to be uh, taken with the Easterner. He'll serve as an ample distraction. Still, it is a pity. If the tennis wars or General Morgan had participated, the show would have been far more dynamic. <laughs> Surely you jest. If you truly uh, wanted the tournament to be more dynamic, perhaps you should have participated yourself. The likes of Julia are no match for your strength after all. You you strong, great guy. <laughs> I don't think quite that highly of my skill with the sword. I doubt I would be able to defeat the second lieutenant here if he fought as hard as uh, he could either. Hardly, sir. I believe you somewhat overestimate, uh, overestimate my strength. I am nothing but an unrefined former Yanger in a soldier's uniform. Not much of a soldier's uniform. I beg to differ. I have confidence in my ability to judge the strength of others. And about the only person I could see being able to fight you on equal terms would be him. Speaking of whom... Oh, him. I wonder who him is. So, And he says nothing to it. Oh, are you really Cassius under there? Wouldn't that be interesting? Speaking of whom... His children uh, will shortly be entering Grand South Castle. Shouldn't we be talking, uh, taking some sort of steps to deal with them? Leave them be. We'll honor the arrangement with the Duke. And besides, it's far too late for any uh, for the British Guild to cause any real trouble. Uh, but, sir... Lawrence, how far along would you gauge the plan's progress? Just over 90%, sir. I'm certain that I'll be able to guide you to our destination within the next few days. Excellent. A new dawn fast approaches for this kingdom. And even if I must endure the stigma of treason, I shall pave the way for glorious morrow. <laughs> now that was one hell of a fight. Ah, I had no clue that Lieutenant Lawrence was so freaking strong. Yeah, I think we got lucky. Even now it's hard to believe. I don't like it. Hmm? Yeah, it's nothing. More importantly, that fancy shindig is supposed to be happening tonight, right? From what I understand, it's going to run late into the night, so they're setting up rooms for us and whatnot. Ah, most generous of them. Rubbing shoulders with all these stuff should be uh, sure to shave in the worst way in uncomfortable places. But dining, the bell royal dining, the very prospect of such decadence. Look at me, my mouth can barely contain itself. Oh, where's my handkerchief? Uh, it's getting on you. Oh, gross! That's good to see you haven't lost your sense of perspective, Olivier. <laughs> Indeed. Let's be off, then. Off to gorge our souls upon the seven courses of courtly affection. Ah, oh, that's a plan, is it? Ooh, Vander. Well, well, fancy meeting you here. It looks like Vander from behind, at least. You son of a bitch. You wander all over the place every damn day and leave me wondering what the hell you're up to. Have you gone completely mad? What possess you to participate in a martial arts competition? Oh, come now, uh, come now my dear M uh, Mueller. There's no, no need to grease your lovely face with such an ill-tempered expression. After all, is it, uh, is it not true that good fortune comes to those who favor or those around them with a smile? I am smiling. It's just me. Or do you recognize that uniform? Yeah, looks like Imperial military to me. Hmm. It looks like you could be a tough one to take on in a fight, too. I don't believe we've met. My name is Mueller. I was just recently appointed as the resident military officer at the uh, Erebonian Embassy. I wonder why that is. I've known this whack job for a very long time. Uh, one might even call us uh, schoolyard chums. I, oh yeah, they probably went to Thor together, right? <laughs> Fret's not over his dark demeanor. Without it, his presence wouldn't light up the room way, uh, the way it does. Oh, you really need to shut up right now. Right. 
<coughs> now, where was I? From the look of things, this hello has caused you some trouble. As a representative of the Erebonian Embassy, I sincerely apologize. Oh, it's okay, he really hasn't been that much of a bother. Actually, he was a big help of, uh, to us during the tournament. Um, Olivier? Did you deliberately try to keep your participation in the tournament a secret from the Embassy? <laughs> oh, perish the thoughts. No, no, rather, I simply never told them. How is that any different from hiding it? Uh, okay, fine, what's done is done. Now, though, we're going back to the Embassy. Yes, you're coming with me. Huh? Please, do wait a moment. We've all been invited to a delightful, indeed wondrous dinner party. A delightful and wondrous, eh? Sounds nice. Too bad he won't be attending. You're going to be confined to the embassy for a little while. A are you serious? When do I ever joke? Oh, cruel fate. Truly, you drive a knife into my very heart. The promise of the dinner party is all. It's been all that's helped me maintain my will to live. You know, I actually kind of feel bad for him. Is it really that big of a deal if you let him go to the party? What's your reasoning behind this, anyways? I knew I could count on you. Oh, but how lovely a thing is true friendship. Just warmth and affection, as opposed to the cruel, cruel frigidity. As opposed to the cruel frigidity of my schoolyard chum. I don't think you folks really understand just how serious this is. But try to picture this. A dinner party populated by royalty and its influential guests from all across the country. And also in attendance, an arrogant fool who never shuts his mouth because his foot is lodged so far into it. And if they found out that this uncuffed MSI was an Erebonian citizen... <laughs> no objections. <laughs> My beautiful and gracious comrades. Why have you so suddenly fallen so silent? Uh, I'm sorry, Olivier, but he does kind of have a point. Yeah, your usual behavior might not be appreciated in the Royal Castle. Hmm, true. We wouldn't want to start an international incident, would we? Well, you, you would turn on me so easily. The war only ended ten years ago. Relationships between our countries can still be strained at times. You'll have to just grin and bear it, Olivier. Please, Mila, hear me out. I'm sorry that I didn't say anything to you before. You know, when you... This isn't a debate. My dinner party! My work has seen! Uh, is this really okay? I can't say I really like it, but the facts are the facts. Well, oh, there's nothing much we can do about it now. We'll just have to enjoy ourselves twice as much in order to make up for him not being able to join us. <laughs> I guess uh, you're right. And we'll, ex we'll have to go to him later and explain about, Oh, the food was so good. Oh, did you try the steak? No, wait, you didn't try it. No, it was so good, though. Let's get our stuff together and go to Grand Castle, then. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go to the embassy. Mueller is the most recent Imperial officer in residence at the Erebonian Embassy. He's young, but he's a senior officer with quite a bit of rank and decorum. Olivier is hopefully behaving himself at the Embassy right now, if he knows what's good for him. Oh, and before he breaks out and meets us up there, uh, meets up with us there. Ah, another uneventful day. My life sucks. You didn't go talk to the girl? Man, I'm good with just not doing anything today. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> Right, guys? Right? Yo. What, we, we're not going to report what we're doing right now? Okay. Whatever. I've already heard. Congratulations on your victory. Thanks, Elman. Gert told me it was quite a sight to behold. <laughs> I, I'm sure it was, I guess. I don't think we're able to take them in another fight, though. Not easily, at any rate. Some say victory is equal part of it in luck, but it seems that the two of you have discovered some secret third influence. Having a... Being a player character, with each passing day, one's skills are further honed. As time passes, you'll grow into that victory, and soon you realize you truly did earn it. You think so? I really like your pep talks. Uh, well done in the arena, and good luck tonight at the victory banquet as well. Thanks, we'll need it. Hmm. I wonder how much the intelligence of Vision knows about, um, like what happened at the church, or that she's hiding out there. Congratulations! A big match like that is going to be burned to my brain for a long time to come. I hope we can work alongside you guys one day. Oh, I'm sure that'll be in a future game. Hey, congratulations. That was an impressive match. Seeing you young braces in action is a pretty big motivator for the rest of us. I can't just let myself get behind, you know. I uh, get left behind. Aww. Where's Annalise? I, I really want to talk to her. She's so... I don't know why. 
I don't know why she's so much more interesting than the rest of them, too. No, Niall? Uh, I had a question for Niall, but I can't seem to find him. Any idea where he might be? Maybe at the bottom of a river some concrete boots? I think about it, I haven't seen him in several days. Not too uncommon in this line of work, though, I suppose. Maybe he's just ditching. He might just be ditching. Or he's sleeping up here, like... He's just, like, um, up here. Like, behind this bookshelf, but we can't see him. Because he can't turn the goddamn camera. Rian! Hmm? Where are you? Who? That isn't, like, the kid, is it? Oh, dear. Where has Rian gotten herself off to? Hmm? Oh, is that the kid that was here before? Ooh. Is she run away from a home? Oh. I feel as though I should keep my eye out for that. Also, I should go talk to her. You know who? Oh, goddess Ideas. I have been blessed with another day under your divine protection. Where is she? Back room or something? Or is she not yet? Door's locked. Okay, maybe she's like back there or some shit. Like, canonically or whatever. Hmm. Museum's director has been called out on another project. I think he's in Bose now. Okay. I was going to say, it seems like a lot of people are moving changing situations and whatnot. I don't know what's happening in Bose. So I was wondering if the museum's director was involved in that, uh, whatever's gonna go on, uh, now. Ah, so, Joshua. That was an incredible match. Congratulations on your victory. Oh, shucks, it weren't nothing. How about you, uh, how have you been, Professor Alpha? Found the meaning of life yet? Not quite. Though that old text in the museum asked me to decipher is coming along rather nicely. I also stumbled upon quite a few books I've been meaning to reference in my research, so overall, it's been a very successful day. Still, I have more work than I have time to do it. But isn't that always the way? <laughs> I'm impressed, I must admit. I guess that's the kind of dedication it takes to be a professor. I sure couldn't do it, that's for sure. <laughs> you can never stay in your seat for more than a minute uh, at a time, never mind actually doing research. Yeah, like I kept saying, sitting still always made me sleepy. I have to move around just to stay awake. I like those, uh, I'm like those fish, you know? The ones that die if they don't keep swimming. Oh god. I gotta keep swimming forever and always right through this aquarium called life, you know? Um... Sure? Oh, stop looking at me like that. That was poetic, man. It was so poetic. It was so cool. It was deep, man. It was so deep. Anyway, I'm glad to hear your research is going well. I owe it all to you. I may even be able to publish some results soon. Maybe. He does have a weird, suspicious look in his eyes. Maybe it's just how he's designed, but... There's something about his eyes that make me feel as though he's hiding something. I guess the better way to phrase it would be his expression looks like he's... Almost condescend. Oh, we're we going to the castle already. Just remind you that since we're going to be staying there uh, after the party, we won't be able to leave until morning. Oh, um, back already. I don't know what else to do. What else do we I? I guess I could find Amelie's. Congratulations, Zin. I was rooting for you, but even I can have predicted you ended up winning it all. You made it. Uh, you made us all very proud here at the embassy. Thank you. I actually have some news for the ambassador too. Then I've been invited for, to uh, stay at the castle, so I won't be back until tomorrow. I'll pass along the message. Enjoy yourself. I didn't actually think we'd be staying there till tomorrow. Is that's not typically how dinner parties work, right? Huh. At least not in my experience. Congratulations on your stunning victory! Go, team, go! I won so much money betting on you! I wasn't able to see your match, but I heard it was a heck of a thing to watch. Oh, It's a shame you have to work here and you can't even watch it. Hope you enjoy the dinner party. It sounds like some serious deliciousness. <laughs> she just overheard Olivier talking about it. There you are! Hmm, which one to choose? Are you looking at stuffed animals and stuff? Oh, when they're this cute, I just can't make up my mind. I came all the way to the capital. I might as well enjoy my time here, you know. Where are you normally from? Hmm. Well, I guess... I don't think you ever said. Oh, well... And I don't see where that girl went, either. The little girl? Hmm. I can't imagine she'd be in the sewers. She doesn't have a key. I can't really think of anything else to do, so... Oh, are we going to the castle already? Just to remind you, since we're going to be staying there after the party... I uh, won't be able to leave until... Yeah, right, I already read that. Okay, let's show the gatekeeper our invitations then. Um, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Probably because we don't get invitations to big events like this very often. Should we, like, dress up or something? Do we even have clothes we could dress up in? Hey, this is the castle of Her Majesty the Queen. Unless you have official business here, you need to leave... Hey! Hi there! We're sorry about the other day. Oh, it's you two. So, we're still staying in town. Oh, 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 I need to do my act. Uh, 
Yeah, we still have some business to take care of. We have a formal invitation, so by your leave, may we pass? Formal invitation. Received directly from His Grace. What? The giant. See, right here. Written invitation. Let's see. To Zin and his team, in appreciation of your performance in the competition, you are cordially invited to a dinner party. Oh, okay, you guys were in the martial arts competition. Right, I heard about the winning team was led by a huge eastern guy. So, is that you? <laughs> you got it. We would greatly appreciate your help. Makes sense. A headmate told us you'd be coming. You're missing someone. What happened to him? It's kind of impolite, I know, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to make it. We're the only ones coming. Ah, oh, that's a pity. No matter, please go on in. Now entering Zin and company, victors of the martial arts competition. Open the gate. Doble Gato. Big O Gato. Pointlessly Big O Gato. Wow! It's like the Hawking Gate, but there's some uh, something a bit more impressive about being part of a castle. I bet it's more solid too, since it's the royal castle. That's why it's uh that's part of why it's impregnable. Ever since the nation was established, no enemy has ever broken through the uh, Annenberg Wall. The capital has been ravaged by war numerous times as a result of mutinies and insurrections amongst the nobles. But even then, the castle held the rebel army at bay and protected the royal family and the refugees. Or so the stories say. Ah, huh, that's pretty neat. Very much the sort of tale one would expect from a nation of such history. Now. Welcome to Her Majesty's Grand Sir Castle. Go right on in. You'll be uh, you'll be met by a welcoming party inside. Enjoy your evening. Castle for ya. This is big, grand, and pointless. So pointlessly big. Oh, I can say that again. I've never seen anything that compares to this place. It's not just pretty. It's got history. I can really feel the traditions and rules of the old kingdom here. Welcome to Grand Zoe Castle. You are in his team, correct? <laughs> Head made as escorted by Captain Amathea. Ah, uh, Captain Amathea. This really isn't that unexpected, but even so. That's right, we came at the invitation of the good duke. And, uh, you are? <laughs> Pardon me. I am Captain Kanoe Amathea, the uh, intelligence division, head of Grand Zoe Castle's defense. I'd like to extend my heartfelt congratulations for your championship victory. Watching the match was truly a spectacular experience. You sound really sincere, and you're too kind, really. And I might say, I didn't know they made women as young and pretty as you into captains. You must do fine work. My, but you are but a flatterer. But I'm not so young as your bracer friends. Hmm. Estelle and Joshua Bright. It's been some time since this uh, incident in Zeiss, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess it has. Quite some time. Unfortunately, the matter concerning Professor Russell is yet to be resolved. It appears that he and his granddaughter were abducted by a group of nefarious individuals. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Evil face. Me, 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 me. I'm afraid not. We left the gaze uh, up to the full-fledged place and came to Grand Cell. We never even heard the follow-up report on it. See, <laughs> that's truly a shame. I totally believe you guys, don't I? Well, with the resources of the intelligence division, it's only a matter of time before the culprits are arrested. Have no fear on that score. What the hell's with her? Understood. We trust you to take care of the. Uh, we trust you to take care of the professor. Oh, absolutely. Now I must show you to your rooms. Shaya, would you please do the honors? Yes, ma'am. See to their needs. But do not bore them with any idle chatter. Do I, uh, do I make myself clear? Uh, yes, ma'am, I understand. <laughs> Very good. Now, everyone, I hope you enjoy your evening. For my part, I must bid you farewell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is one fine woman. I hate to say this in, but your taste in woman is crap. There's nothing fine about that fox face harpy. I think it might just be his favorite type of woman. <laughs> I just tend to find that woman uh, like that turn out to be pretty good people once you peel back a few layers. So to speak. 
You're hopeless. Not that it matters, but you really do sound like a dirty old man sometimes. Oh, my honor. Hmm, um, oh, sorry about that. You're supposed to show us to our room, right? Yes, please allow me. Pardon me, uh, my not saying before, but I am Shea, a maid here at the castle. I'll be at your service this evening, from, uh, the dinner party until the morning. If anything is to your satis- uh, not to your satisfaction, please don't hesitate, let me know. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Will you please show us the room, then? Certainly. It's on the second floor. And now we walk all the way there. Oh, wow. Yeah, hello, that chandelier. It's talk about classy. I should sell. What's that way? That's the throne room. Her Majesty uses it to receive personal guests. It hasn't seen much use in recent days, though. I see. What is the Queen's condition really that bad? Isn't the birthday celebration coming up soon? Oh, oh no. It's just that uh, it's the head uh, maid who tends to her in the royal keep of late. I shouldn't speak on subjects which I'm uh, unfamiliar. Come then, shall we? Hmm. Well, you're not. You're definitely not the head maid, obviously. So. How do we get in contact with her? Oh, and we keep going and going and room? This is the room where you'll be staying. Please, go on in. <laughs> okay. Pardon us. Holy stragas. I never imagined we'd ever sleep in a place like this. Nice. This will make a good story for later. I believe there is uh, still some time before the party. You are free to explore the castle, but the security areas are off limits. I ask that you refrain from entertain uh, entering those areas. Um, can you be a little bit more specific? Most uh, significantly, the royal keep where the queen resides. It's a small palace of sorts, but uh, built on the uh, garden terrace on the roof. A garden terrace? That sounds nice. <laughs> the terrace is where Her Majesty greets the people of Grand Cell from during the birthday festivities. So you cannot go into the Royal Keep itself, but you may visit the Garden Terrace if you like. As for other restricted areas, there's a Royal Guard room and also the Treasury, I believe. Royal Guard room, okay. There's, uh, I guess there's still wanted regression about it, all, the ter all that terror stuff. Uh, yeah, the Intelligence Division is currently occupying it. Entrance is uh, restricted, so please abide by the rules. Hmm, understood. By the way, what are the others who uh, were invited doing? They've already arrived. Like, you're actually really late. Why the fuck are you so... I imagine they're relaxing in their respective rooms. Alright. So Mayor Claus is in here too. Oh, yes, he arrived some time ago. Now, if you excuse me, I'll be off. If you need anything else, please contact the first floor waiting room. Hmm. I still don't know why we're staying here for the night, but whatever. I can imagine why they're, um... Um... Giving a lodging to the people who flew in and whatnot, but still. Now then. So, Joshua exchanged a look that was uh, went unnoticed by Zin. Hey, Zin. We want to go and walk around the castle for a little bit. We'll be back for uh, in time for the party. Hm. Must be nice. It must be nice to be so young. I'm worn out after the tournament. No problem. Have fun. Me, I'm going to kick back and relax in this oh-so-luxurious room. Uh, we need to get as much done as we can before the party starts. First, Julia told us that we have to uh, talk to the head maid, Hilda. Yeah, I'd like to sell, uh, say hello to the other invitees, too. We likely know uh, most of them. Okay. Uh, I think that's probably a good place to end it for today. I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to end up cutting out, but... Uh, I can imagine this going on for a while if I push my luck, I guess. Okay. I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone. <laughs>